Oh, isn't it pretty, guys? I think I finally got this tree trunk finished. I lied! <laughs> it's, uh, I've kind of just abandoned the idea of that little spindly branch there. Yeah, want to go for the big, strong tree because we're big, strong things. Things? We're big, strong people. Anyway, kia ora, Tina Koto. Hello and welcome back to the Craftsman Collective. Bird Tross here. And yeah, we've got a bit of a tree going on here. But, uh, so yeah, uh, okay, so here's the thing. My plan at the moment is, uh, I've torn down the birdhouse because, uh, it was kind of temporary, to be honest. Uh, yeah, so it's, it's all going to be going eventually. So what I've got here is, uh, I've brought this down to 137. Uh, what I'm going to do is, uh, you remember how I said I was going to have, like, a centralized area? Well, what I think I'm going to do is kind of have, uh, like, stairs on all sides, kind of leading up to 140. Uh, that way it's just kind of a... Like, for example, say you're coming up here, uh, probably going to be using a Thorncraft item that we haven't yet discovered. Hint, hint, hint. <laughs> but yeah, uh, you're coming up here, and then, uh, so you get, yeah, you'll come out of this hole, and then you probably just want to go up some stairs, and then there'll be uh, various rooms or branches to walk along. Pretty, pretty cool. So yeah, that's the idea there. Just want to get some stairs going here at some point. Going to do that off camera, of course, so that's a bit kind of menial. Anyway, yes, uh, the kind of had a bit of a change here with that IC2 setup once again. Uh, I, I think at the end of the last episode, I was kind of mentioning how uh, my nano suit armor here can't actually go inside of the bat box. Well, I've switched out the bat box for this MFE. The MFE is the upgraded version of the bat box. The bat box can store 40,000 EU. The MFE, huge step up, can store 600,000, a huge amount. It's actually almost filling up here. Even just this one little solar panel. Uh, so yeah, uh, but the thing is though, is that uh, there's one major difference between the MFE and Batbox as well, uh, other than the uh, energy storage itself. The output here you can see is 128, and the Batbox was 32. These machines all run on low voltage, which is uh, 32 EU per tick, a maximum. So before with the... Uh, the, the bat box there I could just run cables straight into these machines no problem but if I wanted to, if I run 128 energy units into any of these machines and then get them to work they will literally explode so you've got to step down the vault oh <laughs> oh dear oh no I've done that a couple of times I've actually died doing that I have died doing that I was going to talk about that in a little bit but I guess this is a good opportunity to say, always check, guys, always check you have your jetpack. Oh dear, I've done that too many times. Okay, well at least I've got plenty of blocks to get up there, oh man. Anyway, yeah, so I switched out the, uh, I guess I'll have to get up there and then show you. Man, that, ah. Uh. Uh, yeah, but with this tree trunk, uh, I think I've said that I kind of want to... It's all very straight edges at the moment uh, with, with with it all. Uh, that's what I'm just going to do to start off. Just That's kind of how I like to build. Uh, get the basics down, and then you can work on the detailing later once you have a visual eye for it, where you can see better and just go, well, what if I do this? Rather than sort of all planning it out meticulously, because, yeah. <laughs> oh, all right, we've hit, we've hit that. Okay, yeah. Through we go. Hup, I'm alive. Alright, no. Gotta keep you on. Alright. Where's my jetpack? I should have filled up by now. Oh, that would have been funny if I fell again. Oh, oh what? <sighs> oh my goodness. I bet somebody saw that. It was just like shouting at the screen. Well, anyway, that's filling up. So yeah, uh, so you've got to step down the uh, EU, the voltage, I'll call it, just because it's easier that way. Yeah, but you can't do that with uh, any just normal uh, cables. What you have to do is you have to make a special block called an, what is it called, an LV transformer. Uh, what about just transformer? Transformers. Du -du 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 -du. <laughs> Yeah, pretty easy to make actually. It takes four bits of wood, three copper, and two copper cables. So pretty easy to make. You can see here there's a there's different sides here. That side there has got a three 
it's got three holes on it that's the side that 128 eu comes into and then these sides here give it at, at 32. Uh, you can actually do it both ways as well you can actually send little voltage in and get the you know, send 32 eu and get 128 out which is actually kind of interesting but most of the time you just want to uh, step down your voltage rather than try and step it up so now that we've got the jetpack yes we have it now we can go down and see it in action there just uh, literally just connected to the back of the mfe there and then I've got the cables coming out of it. And all of these machines will work no problem, of course. I'll move my bed as well. Just because we are kind of working over there. Just want to sleep through the night. Yeah, uh, got some different stuff planned for today. Uh, or well, ideas planned for today. What I'm going to be doing is actually getting a start on the bees. Oh yeah. Oh yes. <laughs> yeah, but okay, so here's the thing about the bees. Uh, in order to breed the bees together, we're going to need something called an apiary. It's a, a just basically, for all you need to know right now, it's just like a little bee house thing. Here's what it looks like there, and here is the recipe for it. It uses some wood slabs there, pretty easy to get. Some planks, even easier. But this thing here, the impregnated casing, is not all that easy to get. You can see the recipe here is actually in a carpenter. It uses eight logs altogether, and it seems like it can just use just about any log, even all these cool forestry ones. And that's going to get your impregnated casing. We're also going to need seed oil, which means that we're going to need another block before we can even get the uh, impregnated casing. And this one's called the squeezer, which is a pretty easy recipe here, to be honest. It uses some tin, some glass, and some sturdy casing. I'll actually show you the recipe for the carpenter just while we're here as well. Uh, it's slightly different. This one uses bronze as well as the sturdy casing. The sturdy casing, by the way, uses eight bronze. And we, now that we, we worked out that uh, cool little bronze trick, was it the last episode? It was recently we worked out you can uh, use these bronze and it's actually more efficient to make those bronze. So we're going to do that. So yeah, uh, oh, they run on MJ as well, by the way. So probably going to need to break the electric engine out again and tear up the floor. Just because... <laughs> I probably should have repaired that already. All right. Uh, now, first things first. Let's get that squeezer underway. I now we get. Oh, I didn't even say the squeeze. Well, the squeezer we need to get the uh, the seed oil is what uh, for to run the carpenter. Okay. Uh, oh, I did put it all somewhere. Where is it? Oh, here we go. Tin ingots, redstone. Oh yeah, I uh, had a suggestion as well to get the uh, the canvas bag. We're one string short. Probably want to try and, uh, if I can fit that in today as well, we'll get to that as well. But you're yeah, not exactly high priority right now. Give me my torches. All right, that might be enough bronze to be getting it on with. Uh, what else do we need? Okay, well let's, let's see. I've totally forgotten again. Squeeze it. Come here. Right, so glass and all that juicy, juicy stuff. So anyway, guys, how are you doing? Hope you've been having a good week. I haven't been making very many videos recently. It's just no real reason for it, to be honest. But at the moment, I'm actually on holiday. So I'm hoping that I'll be able to uh, bump up the upload frequency, which is cool. Uh, really, the main thing is that uh, I don't record. I don't really record, so I don't really have anything to upload hmm. but if you are looking for regular content I do do we do do I do do weekly streams over on Twitch yeah there are a couple of regulars there I think I must have said this already I must have said this already anyway yeah uh, way late in the night for the Americans so like 1 a.m. sort of time so not very good for the kitties unfortunately but yes that's a convenient time for me down here in Kiwiland Oh, that should be enough glass to be getting on with. Just leave the rest of that to go. Yeah, all this stuff's probably going to get moved. Moved. <sighs> Alright, we'll get two of these uh, sturdy casings. Just because well, just we can. Oh, they stack. Yeah, I forgot that they stacked. Uh, you got to get the tin. You can just use the... What tin is this? Red power tin. That should be able to be used. There we go, we've got the squeezer underway pretty quickly there. Alright, let's see. Now, where's that electric engine? Here it is. I thought I did have one somewhere from when I was playing with... I've, worked, I've got a carpenter already. Oh, dear. I Oh, I, oh I, I didn't need to make one, which is good. I guess I've made it before and I totally forgot about it. Anyway, 
Let's see, now let's rip up the floor just like we did with the last time with all the videos and stuff. In the uh, Ela. Alright, let's see. Uh, how about this? We'll throw the squeezer in the ground here. It doesn't fall or anything, which is good. And plonk. Yeah, I don't have my whatchamacallit, my Omni Wrench, because I lost that when I died, so I need to get a new one to whack these things into shape as well. Alright, squeezer. Now, I don't know exactly how it works. I'm guessing all I really need to do is just throw some seeds and it'll produce some seed oil. I think that's how it works. Do I have any seeds around? I've got a couple. Maybe this will be enough. Probably also want to... Uh, Actually, yeah, let's try this as well. Uh, is there space for it in there? Oh yeah, there is. Oh, that's cool. So it's got like an internal buffer, but it's also got, yeah, it'll, uh, that's cool, that's cool. That's exactly what I wanted to see. We can put some cans in there, and cans are made like this. Or was that right? Or is it like that? There we go, that's the recipe. It gives you 12 cans. These are forestry cans. There's other ones where cells and it looks like this one takes the cans. So yeah, three pieces of tin is going to give you 12 cans. Just throw those in there and all of the uh, the seed oil that's going to come into here is going, it will fill up into there once it has, how much is it, like a thousand units or so? But yeah, uh, it'll make a seed can. What's that say? That is not important. All right, we need a lever. Now, I do know that I have a lever around here somewhere. I remember because I put it away. Here it is. All right, so this should give us the power that we need. Now, I don't know if this is going to affect the MFE at all. Probably actually just want to throw it on the other side of the MFE just in case it like, blows up or something. Well, that'd be an amazing episode. All right, let's see. Okay, yeah, that's uh, got an arrow, so it looks like we did everything right. How much seed oil is that going to produce? Less than one pixel. How fast is it going to go? Not very fast. Hmm. All right, well, I guess while we've got this going, we can uh, throw down the carpenter as well. I am going to make an, have to make an Omni wrench or something here at this point by the looks. All right, throw that on there. And let's see. Now, what was the recipe? Impregnate? No, 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 no. No, I just want to know what the recipe is. <laughs> yeah. I need this all written down, folks. Impregnated casing. Okay, yeah. So, eight bits of wood and some seed oil. Cool. Uh, yeah, I've got plenty of wood here. <laughs> yeah. No, that's right. You just left click rather than right clicking. And throw some storage in there. That's good. Is that water that it needs? I think that is water that it's going to need. Well, I don't have an infinite spring up here. That's probably something else that I can make really quick here. Let's see. All right. So we should have some water going into our carpenter. Wasn't so much a problem when I was on that Ela. Now, is that going to work? Yes. Okay, well, yeah, obviously don't want to be uh, pailing the water in there uh, too much just because we're probably not going to use it all up, but... Also because it's a TS and it's something that an automated machine can do. All right, looks like we've not okay. We've run out of seeds there. I was afraid of that happening. All right, I looked at my chests and I was able to find forty more seeds. These are all the seeds that I have. I don't think it's going to take forty seeds to get a single can, but I don't know exactly how many seed, how many cans it takes to make an impregnated frame. What's all this? I know you put water in there. Do I have or do I put the seed do I put the seed oil there or do I put the seed oil here? I thought the water went here. Maybe the seed oil goes there, the seed oil cans, we'll see. Alright, just wanna be a bit be a bit careful with our seeds here. Probably not gonna get enough to fill up a can here. Might need to throw another ten or five in or so. Just while we're getting the, uh, whatever it's called, the seed oil, there we go. Just want to quickly craft another, uh, one of these prototype Omni wrenches. All right, it took a while, but I finally got all the resources that I need here to get myself another Omni wrench. What I need to do is just get one of my cactus in here. I probably don't want to use up all of them. I want to get a cactus farm going at some point. Obviously, don't really have much land up here, but I think 
Yeah, getting a farm going on the tree would be kind of interesting, like a farming area. I'll just take this and get that. Let's get some cyan dye. Do I have any wool around? I know I have some string if all else fails. Goodness me, bird. There we go. Got, got some on my string that I was going to be using for the woven bag. But is it even called a woven bag? I think it is. Now that's the cyan wool. That should be everything we need to get this Omni Wrench up and running it again. Hopefully we've got some seed oil in the meantime. Cool. Now the reason I got this is just so that I can whack this once it's done. Wasting a bit of energy there. So we still haven't got one. Okay. We'll keep that going then. There we go. Now, if you do the math there, we actually started with 40 seeds here. We used, what is that, 24 of these seeds, as well as another 22 or so. I'll have to look back at the footage. But that is a lot of seeds to get a single seed oil can here. Okay, I'm going to whack the wrench. This thing here, that's going to switch over to the carpenter. That's good. Now, I'm assuming that if I put this in here... That's going to work. Or is it? Hmm. No recipe. Okay. Come on, brain. Help me out here. Hmm. Impregnated case. Oh. Okay. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Uh, so it only it looks like it only needs a quarter can here. Okay, uh, need to get all that water out of there, unfortunately. Okay, so we'll just stop wasting the power in this machine here. Got to get that water out. I don't know how I'm going to get it out. Can I throw this in here? Don't think I can. Okay. Yeah, the uh, we're going to have to tear out the carpenter here. What I'm going to do before I break it though, so that I don't have to traverse all the way to the bottom I'm actually just gonna place a thing on the bottom there by cleverly pressing shift as I did it so that I didn't enter the inventory genius now just one more check there isn't anything in there nope okay let's break this guy there we go the uh, particles for TNT and bricks there that's a little bit of a bug all right let's see there we go now we just need to shove the seed oil in here is what we should have done. There we go. It uses up the can, unfortunately, but there we go. A thousand, what is it, one? Technically, I guess, one unit, quote-unquote. Yeah, it's going to use quarter to make the uh, impregnated casing there. All right, let's get this thing going. Cool. Right. Create crate your surplus. No, thank you. <laughs> we get the electric engine powered up. There we go, that should be crafting this thing. That is looking good. So you guys, that's how you get yourself the uh, impregnated casing to get your apiaries underway. We should have a couple of these slabs around. Yeah, I think I'm just going to snag a couple. I'm too lazy to make some. <laughs> right, there we go. Yep. Cool. Didn't have to go down and grab them or just get some more off. And boop. Okay, so yeah, that you. Oh, oh, okay, no, stop. I don't need that many. Uh, get rid of those. Just to make sure. Alright, we'll take our impregnated casing. We'll leave the seed oil in there, seeing as it took forever just to get just that one thing. It's actually pretty good that it doesn't use all of it. Hmm. Okay, so I'm just thinking, well, seed oil. How am I going to get seed oil? I'm going to need to make an auto farm for it. Coming in the episode 3002. <laughs> well, anyway, head to the workbench, bird. Come on, get that apiary underway. And I don't even have any bees, so we are going to have to head to get some bees out. Yeah, that made sense. Cool. Apiary, 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 gotta get ourselves that apiary to do. It's so uh, hot. <laughs> Alright, uh, so I guess we'll just, I'm thinking right here. Why not? Close to the water. Okay. So right click this interface. Completely new. Oh my goodness. This was not in the retro feed the beast. What is going on? Well, I kind of know what's going on. Yeah, it's pretty similar actually. Yeah. Uh, I'm guessing I'm going to need to put our bees over here. No queen, no kitten. As well as a bunch of weird slots there and here. Okay, so I think we're going to take a quick commercial break. And when we return, 
we're going to attempt to locate some bees. Alright, welcome back. Here we are, just on the, just coming onto the mainland actually, and right off the bat here we've uh, found ourselves a hive. I've kind of known this was here pretty much since the, from the get-go, and I was thinking, oh, this would be a great place to start with the bees when I start making videos on here. Yes, so, just to kind of give you an idea actually, if I come to the edge of this, I think it's called a peninsula, is what they call these. But anyway, if we come to the end of this, we can just make out the Ela from here, and this is really how I just sort of said, oh my goodness, I'm so landing on, on that island. Uh, heaven's Sky hasn't not come into view just yet, but you can see on the map that it is out there. Pretty cool. Minecraft being shy on camera. <laughs> well, anyway, so you can't actually break these with a pickaxe. You're going to need a special item to break them, and this special item is called the scoop. The scoop is a really, really easy thing to craft, actually. All you need is a piece of wool of any color and six sticks. And you just take your scoop, and you just go ahead and break it with the scoop, and that's going to break that for you, and it's going to give us, what are you, sir? You're a marbled princess. Ooh. That is definitely not part of the standard forestry thing. I was hoping to get something a little more uh, basic to start us off. Something like a, a meadows. Oh, here we go. Here's another one. All right, well, no point just not picking these up. I was hoping to find... Something a bit different, as I said. So what have we got here? Marshy? What biome is this? Green Hills, apparently. Well, anyway, I just want to try and find some more classic beehives. I don't know if there's going to be any around. This is pretty near new spawn here. So maybe somebody's already come through here and found them. I don't know. Well, anyway, we've got two species as it is, but I do want to try, as I said, just try and find the classics. Oh my goodness, yeah, extra biome. Do they spawn in extra biomes biomes? I'll bet you they don't. That would is quite a bit of a shame, because I guess the majority of the world is extra biomes biomes. <laughs> oh, well, I know that there is a bit of a redwood forest over there. I was kind of thinking of going in there, but that's an extra biomes biome. <laughs> Oh, man. I can see something over there. What the heck is that? That's a player construction. Let's check it out. What is it? What is it? What is it? Oh, no, that's a village. Okay. A village. A village. Now, maybe they've got one of those bee villages. I know that they exist, but I don't. I, that's all I know about them. <laughs> well, we've got some carrots here and wheat here, so the place hasn't been looted. That's interesting. It's pretty land new spawn. It hasn't been looted. Uh, okay, well, so what biome is this? Uh, tundra, so I think this is an extra biome's biome. So maybe they do spawn, I don't know. Hello. What are you? A frozen comb and a wintry princess. Very, very cool. Right, have the test certificates been killed or what? I'll bet they have. Oh, wow. I don't think I've ever seen a village spawn on ice. This building's like cut in half. What? Okay. Hi. Yeah, that's a terrible trade. Hi. Oh, your water's frozen. That's hilarious. Wow, really? No. I mean, these guys are real stingy when it comes to the emeralds. No one's home. Yeah, I wonder if there's going to be any of these special villages. Oh, you're a bit, uh, you're a bit down there, dude. Let's see. Ha ha ha! Squidward. I'm Mr. Squidward. <laughs> oh, what are you guys doing out? It's getting late. See, look at this me. All these trades are pretty lame. That's weird. Alright, what about up here? Are there any inside? Let me in. Let me in! Right, nobody's here. Alright. The sheep just kinda they're like a ninja sheep. Hiding atop the houses. Waiting for the creatures of the night. Before they spring. <laughs> oh man. Ninja sheep. Coming soon. 20, 2014. What? 
<laughs> oh well, so I guess this is what the code does if there's a, a village kind of going off the side here. It just makes a bunch of cobble. That is interesting. Anyone inside? Doesn't look like it. Well, interesting to find a village here, but pretty useless. Psst! Hey, psst! There's some skeletons there guarding the cobweb. That's a great wood tree. There's supposed to be something beneath there. Hmm. I might be able to take him down, but I've got some pretty valuable stuff here. I'm probably going to actually avoid the fight. It would be nice to see what's there, but I am too weak and too terrible at PvP. Oh, not, not fighting monsters in general, even, to consider doing that. Anyway, you're just here in this redwood forest. I just came in just a minute or two ago, and now we're in jungle. Just came in just now. Haven't seen any bees yet. Maybe I just I just want to come across a basic... You know, what are they called? Meadows B. <laughs> How hard could it be? Where are you? Oh yeah, uh these are these are these are cool. These are from uh, Red Power, these trees here. Rubber wood. These are the first of the trees I saw on YouTube and uh Yeah, they are not really that useful at the moment because LRM hasn't sort of implemented all the features for them, but they're there. I believe they're supposed to make, uh, what is it, rubber that you use to insulate your electricity wires. But anyway, yeah, very cool. Well, I'm not going to be finding any of these bees, the, the meadows bees, in there. What the heck is this? Like, mountainy desert? Oh, screenshot. There we go, now we all know when this was recorded. Mountainous desert. Oh... Hello. Uh, what's up the top of here? Just kind of doing a random big explore of the area, just trying to find something. How are we doing for jetpack? About half. Hmm. Maybe want to consider heading back. I've, I've got enough bees here, I think, to get started, but I'm not quite sure. Just I just wanted something basic. Just Just anything that would just like work in that biome. I think it's just an ocean biome, so it's not particularly great for bee breeding. But, oh well, what are you? Fur! Okay. Oh, picked up something else. I'm not checking this time. Not what monster's about. Whoa! Enderman. No, he's right there, okay. Oh, hello. Fire! I've got Bane of Arthropods on this sword. You should all fear me! Alright. Still can't see any. And the frames are dropping to about 15 or 20. Not good. Not good at all. Alright, I can see another hive here. What do we got? This is a more normal looking terrain, by the way, which I found. Maybe this is another marble, is what I'm guessing. Seems like it might be. Yeah. Something normal, please! Anything. Could this be it? Could this be what we seek? Why is there light here? What? There's light here, apparently. I don't know where it's coming from. This is weird. Anyway. This looks like a normal looking one to me. There's another one over there. Cool. Alright. So obviously no one's been here yet. What? They're bright red, but they are meadows. That's good enough for me. Probably just want to... Pick up another one just because, oh man, there's there's tons out here. Perfect. I'm only going to grab one more. I want to leave some for the other guys, assuming they want to come here. That looks like another marbled. All right, well, you just grab one more. Just because, awesome. All right. Well, where is home? I am so totally lost. I don't know where to go. Wow, yeah, there are a ton of hives here. Obviously no one's been here at all. Maybe this is fresh generation. What are the odds of that? Alright, I can't... I have no idea where to go. No idea where to go to get home. It'd be great if I had a Mistcraft book. I could go wherever I want and get it home. Oh, there's a bridge. There's a... I don't believe it. I found civilization. There's a bridge over here. Whose home is it? I think this might be Nasiris, just guessing. Well, maybe not. It's on some kind of little island. 
Okay, torches, great wood. What do we got? There's something there. This is a trap. This is my first thought. It's a candle, so somebody is into Thorncraft. Hush, bird, hush. Who the heck put this here? And why? I am so totally lost. <laughs> I think that's fine, though. Oh, whoa, no, hold on. Hold on, I'm glad I spotted that. That's what that's for. Wowee. Whose house is this? I have not seen this. I have no idea who it is. Whoa, looks really nice. I gotta say that much. How much power have I got? Ooh, I'm running real low here. Gotta be a bit careful. Whoa. Okay, so have they got a sign or anything? No. Hello? Okay, there's a chung loader here. Alright, yeah, these guys know what they're def doing, definitely, for sure. They're pretty rich as well. They've got some power around that I might be able to just steal a bit of, yeah. Well, it looks like those these guys haven't... This person hasn't been here in a while, and I don't think they're going to miss 30,000 EU. I guess just while we're here, we'll just uh, quickly explore the rest of this place. Uh, yeah, this is a... So try and find some clues as to who this might be. Okay, well, the Nexus is here. That's good. I need to get to the Nexus to get home. That's good. Cool. So we got lost. But hey, uh, I think we had a bit of fun here. Pretty cool. That should be filled up enough now. Yeah, cool. And it's climbing back up again pretty rapidly, so I don't mind too much. Oh, that's a very colourful inventory. Like, it looks like they've got a low-voltage solar panel just like me. Hmm. Yeah, but they've definitely, uh, they're advanced a lot more than I am with, uh, the mods at the moment. Obviously because i got a nice house. Let's see if we can get to the Nexus. Okay, the book works, so that's good. Oh, yeah, no, I'm right here. Boop. Welcome to Ila de Buena. Yeah, so, uh, <laughs> as I've said already, I've lost my personal book, so I'm having to rely on the Nexus to get around, basically. Well, anyway, guys, uh, I think what I want to do is just quickly get this set up. Oh, actually, uh, I wonder. Uh, are there any left on that island? Maybe not, but I think I do have a couple anyway. Yeah, uh, so the bees, you can't just, we can't just put the bees in the apiary at the moment and expect them to work. We're going to need to put down some dirt and more specifically a flower on this piece of dirt so that the bees will continue to work for us. So if I just... I guess just break this out, doesn't matter too much. Just as long as it's within the general vicinity. It's got quite a range. Uh, dirt. Come on, please tell me I've got some dirt around. Don't embarrass me. There we go. And... Well, there's a, there are also some red rose there, so I hope I haven't used up all my roses. Or daisies, or whatever they're called. Okay, here we go, we've got one. Cool! We can get this bee breeding underway. Maybe not. Not breeding it will get to breeding in the next few episodes, I suspect. Anyway, yeah, uh, just throw this down. It should be good. Now we're going to put our meadows in there. You take a meadows princess and one of our meadows drones, and what happens, and you stick them in these two slots. Then this bar fills up here, and it kind of goes from yellow to green, and we get ourselves a meadows queen. Awesome! Alright guys, yeah, I think this is going to do for this episode of the Craftsman Collective. Unfortunately, didn't get to what I wanted to do today as well. I wanted to do a bit of Thorncraft. Also wanted to try and get the canvas bag, but yeah, uh, I'm just going to try and do that off camera, I don't know, and show you guys the result later on. Yeah guys, uh, some good progress to be made here, I think. Had a bit of an adventure as well. <laughs> My name is Bertros and Kia Kaha. Research. We've got cursory and thorough research. Now, with cursory research is for the uh, the, the resource.